I'm Chef Matthew. I'm owner of La Ferme Restaurant. I'm a local boy. I grew up in the area here, a little town called Starbuck, about 23 miles south of here. I had a friend that was moving out to Los Angeles. He had two other guys in a two bedroom apartment. I was the only guy out of the three that could do any cooking. We kind of quickly came to an agreement that I would do the cooking, they would purchase the groceries. And so after a couple of months of that, they really pushed me to become, look into culinary school. I just, I found it so fascinating what you can learn through food. Through culinary school, I got to try a lot of fun things. Los Angeles being a larger city, all the different ethnicity groups are there. And um, so there's, I mean, everything you can think of, bugs, cool fruits from other cities. The access to the seafood is amazing. I made a point when I was in culinary school that I will try everything at least once. If people have been eating it for a thousand years, I should be able to at least try it without hesitation. When I got done with my culinary school, I got really just was done with the city. I wanted to move back to some place that was greener, had um, seasons change. I applied for a few jobs in the cities and got hired on at Vincent Restaurant, downtown Minneapolis. I will always appreciate Vincent for what he taught me. He taught me to move really fast and um, be able to crank out beautiful dishes that belong in a magazine but in a very fast paced setting. Um, but the hours were long and I was looking for something to kind of help refine my skills. And so I took a job with Bayport Cookery. Um, working with Chef Jim Kimberg was another amazing opportunity and a very pivotal point in my career. When I started working with him, um, he taught me how to pair foods with wines, beers, scotches, cigars. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun of just um, being uber creative with all of the dishes that we did. And then he also taught me about local food. We would have people come to our back door that just out of their garden in town would bring him spinach or tomatoes or cucumbers and the flavors that you can get out of that are unparalleled to compared to what you would get off of a truck or out of a grocery store. It's, just night and day difference, and was another one of those culinary moments of in my life, just, wow, what, what, what can we do with all of these ingredients? I have nothing here in La Ferme without the farmers that support me. I add a little bit of salt, I add a little bit of fire, maybe a little bit of oil, and I give people food that I think is great to eat and awesome to look at, but it's really the farmers that put in all of the hard work. We've been here, we're coming up on our five year anniversary in April 1st, which is a huge milestone for me. In the restaurant industry, that five year mark is when you know you've become established and after five years, you're starting to actually build a legacy. And that is something that I want to be able to show people, educate people on what local food is and how you can source locally and what the difference is with the tastes of those ingredients. You'll see the names of our farmers on our menu. I will gladly give out phone numbers to my farmers, which they are very happy to, so that you can go and purchase pork from my pork farmer or beef from my beef farmer. So essentially, here at La Ferme, we have two different restaurants. At least in my mind, it's two different restaurants. I mean, the face stays the same, but what we do at lunch is very much different than what we do at night. Um, lunch is sandwiches, salads, and soups. A lot of the people that work in the downtown area here really only have 15, maybe 30 minutes tops for a lunch break. And so essentially, they will call in their order and then run down here quick and grab their order and then run back to where they're working. In the evening, it's more of a formal restaurant. It's a table side service. 
um, at lunch you come to the counter and order. At night um, we'll seat you and I'll have a server over by your side to kind of guide you through the dining experience at night. It's still very much uh, a focus on the local ingredients and supporting those local farmers. We're trying to source um, at least within the borders of Minnesota, if not um, more of a what smaller radius. In the summertime it's really easy. Within everything that we use for food is sourced within 25 miles of the restaurant. Wintertime gets a little bit more tricky. You have to kind of spread out, but there's plenty of people all around the state that are raising vegetables and greenhouses and um, our meat that just grows all year long. So that's easy to easy to get. So we've got uh, local duck breast. We've kind of already rendered out the fat on the skin side. You have to do that prior to cooking it. So otherwise you're gonna end up with a really thick layer of fat that's really chewy. We've got butter in the pan. The duck goes back into the pan, skin side down. Just wanna get my butter melted and then baste with the butter. You can kind of see how it's starting to cook the meat a little bit as you ladle that hot butter over the top of the duck breast. This is just helping to flavor the meat, and then it's a more gentle way of cooking it. So. This is the mustarda, the Italian condiment, a little bit of dried raisins, fresh fruit, cooked down with vermouth, mustard. They've got fresh thyme, rosemary, and oregano in there as well. Duck is ready, so I can, I'll can start plating that one. Got a potato gratin that we made. Potatoes from our Ida Valley farm. Garlic, we've got a little bit of cream, chicken broth, salt and pepper that goes into that. Then we bake that in a large pan and then just take out what we need to order. Starta, and then our microgreens. Making things look pretty on the plate before um, they get out to the customer, uh, it's, it's very important. And then, I mean, just for me as well, it's just one of those satisfying things of, I've made this work of art that's gonna go out to somebody. My mom taught me how to raise vegetables in a garden, crop rotation, and that's something that I've begun passing on to my kids as well. And then the importance of fresh food and eating fresh and local and um, maybe taking a little bit more time out of your day to prepare that food. One of the biggest things about being a chef for me is the satisfaction of every once in a while having a customer come up and say that that was the best thing that, you, that I have ever eaten in my entire life. And that's huge because in my opinion, the best things that we've all eaten is typically something our own mother has made for us. And so for someone to come and say that the best thing that they've ever eaten is something that I've made, it makes me forget about anything and everything wrong that's gone on in my day when something like that happens. Visit pioneer.org slash postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments. This program on Pioneer Public Television is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. Additional support provided by Mark and Margaret Yakel-Drew in honor of Shalom Hill Farm, 
a nonprofit rural education retreat center in a beautiful prairie setting near Wyndham in southwestern Minnesota. ShalomHillFarm.org. Live Wide Open, a regional movement that encourages people to make a great life for themselves in west central Minnesota. More at LiveWideOpen.com. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at ExploreAlex.com.